Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. So it's Thursday morning, um, as you can see we're actually currently in a queue. <laughs> I only want to go in here, pick up one of our boxes, run it to barking, just so I can swap over for another 40 foot to actually start my day. Um, I did actually record an intro before this. And I was feeling really good about the day, but this has changed it. I hate queuing first thing in the morning. We, and we're only going to go barking and queue there for another hour or two. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a bit. Right, so we're all loaded, as you can see. Forty foot high coop. Yeah, so we've got an empty forty foot high coop container. Um, those of you who don't know what a high coop is, basically it's two different sizes of um, forty foot. Well, any container really. A standard is eight foot six tall from you know floor to ceiling and a high cube is nine foot six this is the taller one we're going to run this down to barking as i said run this down to barking get this lifted have a 40 foot standard i believe it's a standard um eight foot six get that lifted on head down to crawley Now, the GoPro is actually the front-facing camera. It's actually connected to my seat. I've just, I've got the air in it, so you will see it bumping up and down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try it a little bit like that, and then let me show you. If I dump the air out, it won't bounce as much now. I'll see which way comes out better, what looks better, and uh, yeah. I mean, with it bouncing, you get the idea of what the road surface is like that I'm driving on and how it kind of feels for me. My line of vision is obviously going up and down a little bit with the seat. Anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm gonna crack on. I'll see you at Barking. So we're just about to get this one lifted. Just wait for the one to go on now, and then we'll be away. Right, just about to load us with our box on now. I don't know if you can see that yellow one in front on the lifter now. That is ours.
just about to land it on the pins. Oh, you missed. That's on. We got it. Give him a little toot, just let him know, thank you, and yes, it's on correctly. You can see in the mirrors, or you get to learn how it looks on the trailer, basically. You can, yeah, you can see. You can just tell. Right, bear with me one minute. Just gonna do twist locks. Just walking down the driver's side. Back one done, check the doors are shut and locked. Just coming up passenger side now. Truck's now covered in dust. Get a bit of charge in there. Seat belt on. Ugh, move the mic. Right, let's get out of here. So it's, it's only 52 miles to the job. It's say an hour and 15, hour and 20 from here. Uh, it's actually quarter to 10 now. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of waiting around this morning. Yeah, so we'll get there for about 11 o'clock, five past, 10 past-ish. Uh, let's see how the day goes. I think it's gonna be a late finish. When I say late, my time officially is seven till five. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, I think it'll be gone five o'clock the time we get done. Oh well, we'll see. Check the route. Straight down to 23. Cheers mate, see you later. No idea what that was about. He stopped me, shut the barrier, pointed at the number plate, put his thumbs up, and then sent me on my way again. So yeah, as I say, don't know what that was about. Seems a bit pointless, but whatever. Quite often they ask you, they write all your reg vehicles down, registration, company name, your name and what you're carrying. Nah, he weren't interested. Just wanted to point him a number plate and put the thumbs up. Although to be fair, I'm in and out of there a lot. Once, at least once a day. Sometimes two or three. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with the journey then. Um, I won't bore you with too much of it. Maybe do a bit of a time lapse. I'll get back to you when we're approaching the job. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so we've just arrived. Um, it's actually a drive-in cinema. Let's see if I can show you. Totally stripped. Let's 
so this whole set they're just 20 foot containers apparently they're actually just moving them to here but making them bigger we're putting 40s in so it'll be a bigger screen there is another screen right down the bottom and we can see it there Right, so we're all tipped, as you can see, or as you've just seen. Um, in fact, you'll actually see the box probably in a second out of the, out the front now. Yeah, that's the one, if you can see it. I'm just watching that other driver. I'm not too sure what he's up to at the minute. He's gone up the other end for some reason. I'm thinking he knows a different way out than me.
Now, this new camera angle, I don't necessarily plan on it being a, a permanent fixture, unless you like it, in which case, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, this one here that faces forward. Yeah, as I say, let me know uh, what you think of it. If you like it, I'll use it a bit more often. Uh, to be fair, it's actually on the on the seat itself, on the the armrest. I've got the armrest flicked up and just stuck the GoPro on that on a mount. It's probably the easiest setup I've I've ever done, to be honest. So it's now quarter to four. All we got to do is drive back to the yard. Uh, it's saying we should get back at quarter past five. But I know Dartford's going to be absolutely rammed. So we'll see how we get on. Um, but I suppose I'll end the vlog here. There's not really anything interesting other than the drive back. Uh, I want to try and keep it a short vlog, which I know it's going to be stupidly short. Uh, I don't suppose I've even got, I don't know, 10 minutes, have I? 20 minutes? But. Nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. Um, I do promise the content will start getting better again. Um, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things after having a couple of weeks off. Um, truck fest and yeah, a few other bits and pieces happening. So yeah, until next time, see you in the next one.